So the men's discus final is coming up, and Alid Davis looking to add to his gold medal performance. Earlier in the week from the shot, and Tom Habside winning bronze for Luxembourg, beginning to medal quite regularly. Also in this is Yaroslav Petrus of the Czech Republic, and here he is. <laughs> Three quite high-profile field events to get us underway. Petrus, season's best, has fallen quite short of his lifetime best. In terms of his season's best, he has actually ranked six of the six, so he's gonna have to work very hard in this F42 in order to get into the medals, just in terms of the form he's shown so far this season. He's got that out uh, solidly to around 35 meters. F42 being uh, among the amputees, the leg amputee categories, where there will be a certain loss of power from the lower half of the body. It's actually a really good field in this. The next man we're due to see, if we're uh, staying here, by the way, it's already medaled here. Solid opening throwing by Petrus. Well, 32 meters 16 sets the standard for Petrus. And here's the man who won the silver medal in the shot earlier this week, Bader Tuzi of France, his second major championship. It was his best ever result. And he suddenly becomes a very good candidate for Rio. Headmaster at a boarding school by day, Baratuzzi. And he's pretty useful in the field events as well. 41-37, his season's best. On paper, that would get him bronze here if it goes to form. How's he looking with his opening effort? It's out towards the 40-metre mark for the Frenchman. Good, solid opening effort. Petrus managed 32.16 with the first throw of the day in this F42 discus competition. But that looks an awful lot longer from Tuzi. 41.37, his season's best is actually his lifetime best as well, so he's in great form at the moment. 38.42 metres is his opening round effort. So he immediately becomes the man to beat. His uh, lifetime best set this year of 41.37, which in terms of this year's throwing would rank him in third place. Detko Ovcharov of Bulgaria finished outside of the medals in the shot put final where Tuzi took the silver, Alla Davis, who we'll see a little later winning it. And again, down around 31, 32 meters. Red flag is up, and uh, wind is coming up a little bit here as well, by the way, this morning in Grisetto. Of Chirov. Have to wait before getting properly on the board. But now, here he is, the winner of the shot put this week. Reigning champion in this and the shot from Swansea. The reigning Paralympic Games champion. He already has his supporters around the stadium here. Alid Davis of Great Britain. The reigning Paralympic World European and Commonwealth Games champion. He's a solid 50-metre thrower, over 40 will put him into the lead, and guess what, that's over 40, and it will put him into the lead. Really solid throw, straight away. We're only six minutes into the session. 
Now, that might not be with this opening throw a nailed on goal, but he certainly will be in the lead. He just finds himself generally far and away ahead of the rest of his challenges. 2012, the last time he didn't win a major championship final. Got right out there. Remember, it's not a straight line of a marker, it is an arc. He's in the lead, 40 metres, 40. Next up then, Tom Habside of Luxembourg. Out that goes well over 40 metres from Habside. Bronze in the shot, but earlier on in these championships, that is a powerful opening effort. Silver in Swansea two years ago, Habscheid. And that has absolutely flown out. Alan Davies laid down what we thought would be a good marker with his opening round effort. But Habscheid looks to have gone a couple of metres further at least. Confirmation then 43.22 for Tom Habscheid. That's very close to his season's best. Well, it's brilliant throwing by Habscheid, and what's had to happen is that because Luxembourg have a very, very small programme and generally a very small team, normally just him, he's had to be essentially taken under the wing of the Belgian system. They've developed him fantastically, and he's blossomed from a very good young raw athlete in Swansea. He uh, started off in Lyon in 2013, he finished fifth in the discus there, and he's gradually improved. He finds himself in the gold medal position all of a sudden. Here's Al Jabouri of Sweden. It's not a bad effort. It's around 35 metres. Al Jabouri, 37-43 is his season's best. Yeah, 33-73 puts him into fourth place. And we go back again towards Yaroslav Petrus as we start the second round of throws. Ovcharov had a uh, no throw, by the way. Thirty-two meters sixteen, and at the moment he is six meters away from the medals. He should be able to pick up the window for effects mics, but uh, there's a nice breeze behind him. Obviously, wouldn't help the discus very much. But if you're in the uh, if you were in the long jump this morning, it would be on your back. It's blowing from right to left as we see it from the main stand. The Main angle. Yeah, couldn't get much power behind that at all. That's dropped probably just shy of 30 meters. Wasn't happy with it. Knew it wasn't going to be measured very far, so he simply walked out of the throwing circle, and it's a foul. Yaroslav Petrus, a bit of a sluggish start for here, but he is. About 14 metres short of his lifetime best this season, the 39-year-old. This is Bada Tuzi. Decent opening round effort of 38.42. Currently has him in bronze medal position. Already a silver medal to his name here in these championships in the shot put. This his second attempt then. Only Alid Davies and Tom Habscheid ahead of him in the field at the moment. Tuzi out towards a similar distance, maybe a little bit shorter than his first round effort.
Let's have a look. 36.43, so just about two metres short of his first effort, but he remains in the bronze medal position at the moment. Yeah, no success in the opening round for uh, Detsko Ovcharov of Bulgaria. It was a no throw. The former Javelin world champion from Christchurch five years ago. He won bronze in Doha in this and also in Lyon. So in the last two world championships, he has excelled in the discus. Bronze in the Javelin and the discus in Swansea two years ago. And that's a lot more like it. That is a lot more like it from Ovcharov. And he might have just barged his way into the medals here. Tuzi's going to have a bit of a fight. Hampshire is our leader. Alan Davis currently in second place. He's going to have to really put out something special in the second round. Ovcharov has certainly done that. He's got himself into contention. Solid throwing of Chirov, 38-38, goes into fourth place. He is four centimetres off Tuzi and the medals at the moment. So Alan Davis, 40 metres 14, lying in second place in the discus. He's three metres behind the leader, Habscheid. So is he going to take out something big here? Needs to. It's even rare for him not to be leading a competition, let alone not take the gold. He's dug out something huge. There you go. There you go. Well, that's him in the lead. He sent out a huge one. That's at least 45. Absolutely massive throw from Alad Davis. His season's best is 48-52, and it's, it's out towards that range. He had to pull out something huge in order to go back in front ahead of Habscheid. Absolutely thumping. Championship record, 47-84, and he's in the lead. A few of the flags fluttering there in the grandstand away to your left. We'll expect that to fill up a little bit more as today's competition goes on. This is Baratuzzi, the Frenchman, back over in the men's discus F42. Currently in the bronze medal position, Tuzzi. But uh, that one will not be an improvement. 38.42, his best effort so far. That was in the opening round. Only four centimetres ahead of Ovcharov in that battle for bronze at the moment. That one won't trouble his best, Tuzi. Thirty-two point zero one, some way short of his best so far, Tuzi, at the halfway stage of his men's discus F42. This is Ovcharov, the man that's hunting down Tuzi for the bronze medal position at the moment. 38.38, the Bulgarian's best so far, and no throw in the opening round, just out of the sector. Second one went dead center. He made the necessary adjustment Bronze in Swansea two years ago of Chirov. That one again is out towards the right-hand side. It's another no throw for of Chirov. So just the one registered distance at the moment, 38.38. Fourth place, still well in the hunt for a medal. This man, Alad Davies, 47.84 in his previous round of effort, a championship record, that. His season's best, 48.52. Only he and Petrus in this field have been over 50 metres 
in their lifetime. One gold medal already at these championships, Davis. Over four and a half metres clear of second place Tom Habscheid at the moment. This is third round effort. Out it flies from Ale Davis, and that looks absolutely enormous. Well over 50 metres for Ale Davis. Plenty of support for him in the grandstand here. That is absolutely superb, and look how pleased he is with that effort. Smashed the championship record with his previous round, 47.84. This could well be a lifetime best. Just eagerly awaiting confirmation of the measurement here. That is absolutely huge for Alan Davis. He's waiting as well. It's he's the world record holder from Doha two years ago. At uh, last year, sorry. And big celebrations. 54.14. A new world record for Alan Davis. He is well in control of the men's discus throw F42. Absolutely phenomenal effort from Alan Davis. Right, let's go back to the discus. And we've seen some brilliant action here already. Alan Davis is our leader. Some immense throwing. And we go back to Yaroslav Petras, who's had two no throws so far. Well, we've seen the best ever already in history. That world record of 54-14 in the third round. Well, when he's put under pressure, he really knows how to bowl it out, Davis. The championship record in the second round of 47-84, and then he did something absolutely immense. First throw beyond 50 metres in history in this event. 54-14. Superb. Now, Petrus it is. He's had a little bit of a wait. During the medal ceremonies, you see they stop competition in the field due to the national anthems being played. It's... Uh, the courtesy of everybody standing to attention. He's from Prague, bronze in the last Europeans, seventh in the Javelin, which he also specializes. Then Barry Tuzzi, who uh, is currently in third place now, also has been a high jumper. That's again going out beyond 30 meters. It might be better than 32.16, but it's six centimeters away six meters away from the medals it's already a two new no throws where he stepped out of the uh throwing circle even if he throws 35 dead he stays in sixth place Yeah, 33 metres, 32, he improves by over a metre, but he stays in sixth place. Back over to the men's discus, F42. Alan Davies obliterated the world record, 54.14. This is his fourth attempt, Davies. And it's over 50 metres again, another terrific effort. Not going to trouble that brand new world record that he set in his previous round, but another one over 50 metres. It's a really good display from Alan Davis. Just looks in the condition of his life at the moment. Fifty-four point one four in round three. Absolutely blowing away the competition at the moment. Almost ten meters clear. Forty-nine point seven five. That just shy of the fifty-meter mark, in fact. But it's consistently long from Alad Davis. 
Here's Alid Davis now in the discus. He's already thrown a world record today, 54-14. It's his fifth round throw. The shout from Tom Habscheid, because he's just thrown a lifetime best. 45-41, and he is in the silver medal position now, ahead of Ovtcharov for Bulgaria, who finally came up with some throws after a few fouls. Ovtcharov is up into bronze. Habscheid with a silver in the discus two years ago, and he's on course for that again if things stay as they are. Now, Alad Davis, 54-14 with his third round throw. It's a championship record, it's a world record, it's a European record. Is this another long one? Well, you can hear the reaction from him. He's stepped out of the circle already. It's a red flag because that was dropping down around 44, 45 metres. But he's in the lead, he's got the world record. There'll be lots of letters after his name today in terms of the season's best, British record, European record, and on, 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 on. That fell around 42, 43, and he stepped right out. He wasn't, he wasn't even going to look for that to be measured. That still would have been a throw good enough, probably for third place. Ovtcharov definitely wouldn't have walked out. Neither would Tuzi or the rest. But Davis, the gold, I think is virtually his. So, Alan Davis, to round off his competition, he has been magnificent. A new world record in the discus, 54-14, that coming in round three. So, how can he round off? Is he going to pull out another one? Well, it's again around 44, 45 metres. That magnificent throw, the first in history in this category beyond 50 metres. And it's another to add to his goal-laden career. Really pulled it out of the fire. He was under big pressure from Tom Halbscheid early on, and he stepped out of the circle. But what a fine set of marks anyway. Alad Davis is the European champion again. So he retains the double in the shot and the discus. Reigning world champion in both. Paralympic Games champion as well. Great recognition. World record 54-14. Alan Davis takes the gold then for Great Britain. Tom Hubscheid, a brilliant silver, just as it was two years ago for him. And it was bronze in the end for Ovcharov. Tuzi, fourth for France after his shot silver. Great competition, five centimetres. Tuesday lost out by Davis, Hobside, Ovchar after one, two, three.